Hey guys, Dirk here. We're on the land, and there's a family of howler monkeys arrived on the land. So let's let's. Have so here we go. Super high grass, if you can see. I'm wearing flip flops. Oh, so I have to be careful for for snakes. So mango is still super high. Can you hear them? So this is just on our land. There they are. And It's too funny. And mangoes coming down. Here <laughs> go. Hey guys. Super difficult to film. Monkeys here. Super chill. So it's funny to see that in the top of the mango. <laughs> <laughs> in the top of the mango trees you see you see uh, all these half eaten mangoes. It's too funny. Look at the whole family. You can see this guy's face. So mad. You see that? I'm right on top of me. Oh he's <laughs> coming down a tree. Great, I think there are about those two on here trying to reach through the leaves. And, uh, taking off to the to the other land. You see them guys? Ah, it's so much fun. So this is live here in Costa Rica on our mango farm on a daily basis. And we're here by monkeys. <laughs> Say hi, man. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, now they're mango. So if I come here early in the morning, I'd uh, uh, here, I had a video in it between. Because so if I come here in the morning, there are these small green parrots. I like that two or three, no, hundreds. And they're, they make super a lot, a lot of noise. And, quack, quack, quack. and then in the afternoon, we got monkeys coming in. and. Also at four or five in the morning, when or five, so when the sun comes up, you hear the monkeys a lot. So uh, yeah, living in a jungle in Costa Rica. So this is where we are, and this is in the in the outer corner of our land. And uh, let me go back here, a little bit up. And so the grass, the grass is super super high, because I do not have yet tools yet to uh, to cut the grass. Uh, but we contacted the the gardener. There is a gardener and, and uh, you know that used to do work on this land and we connected with him to see if he can just you know cut all the grass, flatten again and I have to restore this. You see you see this um, let me show you here. I do have to be careful for snakes because it's so high grass. But you see the outer line of the of the land it's like the trees, you know, there there's a hole in there there there's a hole in there as well 
So I see you have to sort of restore that. And, but the plan is to, um, when we start, all the front, all the front to, uh, to make a new fence. Uh, I think about two meters high, a big fence. Or a big fence, just like, a, you know, a steel fence. That one keeps the dog inside. You know, the dogs, we are about to get another dog. And uh, we can't decide whether to take a puppy or a little bit older. And I said today to Muriel, let's take them both. And we have three dogs. And it's a Melanoy, Melanoy Shepherd puppy and uh, a pet rescue. A girl, sweet, and needed a home. So, uh, but anyway, this is the gate. You see, this is just a hilarious gate, just to make sense. It's super high. Nick can walk. Can you, do you pass under it? No, let me see. So, this is our front gate. It's closed right now. Oh, you're too big. Oh, you do the limbo. <laughs> so he fits under it. Doesn't make sense, right? So what I'll do is, uh, or I'll not do myself, but you know, have, have, have some guys coming with a, a big, uh, uh, um, you know, the machine, the, the, the backhoe, to make it a little bit wider here. And uh, it's a bit weird, yeah. A bit wider, like, like three feet three feet in and then maybe you know the the down as well more steep it's not like bumbly and stuff like that and there will be a concrete drive up but that is second there are two poles where the gates are in, attached so there will be two poles oh, actually all the way here one here and one there and then you know connect them with the gate as well and it's just going to be a steel gate and then we you yeah, have this you see i don't know if you can see it but the the flowers on um, on the gate there, you know, this, these are pink flowers. But you have a, 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 a plant a plant that climbs, and that is um, purple flowers. It grows super fast, and it creates a thick layer. So in the summer and dry season here, it's um, it's it's, it's going to be there is a road, so it's going to be a little bit dusty. And that fence keeps the dust more out, but it also keeps the dogs in, but it also keeps the people out. And uh, be careful on any other po sticky points on there. You don't want to be a uh, saute. <laughs> anyway, so and, and then the fence will be up here. The, the great thing of that is that you can drive your car in, get out, open the gate and drive in. Now we have to stop on the road. So, you know, it's, it's not safe for, for kids to get out and stuff like that. So that is why we uh, decided to do that. But I think construction will start in about four or five weeks. And then, uh, you know, but before that, we asked the gardener to, uh, to, uh, to do some work, you know, cut the grass. I planted these. You hear that? It's so fun. I planted, where are they? These, like in a row. I think that one over there, there's one. Did not survive. That, well, maybe some new leaves coming on so that but you know you just can't see it my papaya tree I planted uh, a few weeks ago and if you want to see that video just you know check the other video uh, I planted a, uh, a papaya tree it's still small but you know the grass is almost higher than the papaya tree now so uh, and it also you can't see snakes or you can't see what's walking there so you have to be a little bit careful here as well let me show you here we have the house some cactuses I need to oh, I'm gonna take them with me I uh, need to plant them there is ginger there's turmeric there are avocado trees there is some I have no idea what it is but it's kind of it's kind of a salad um, where? Uh, that one <laughs> I have no idea somebody gave it to me but it is delicious and we've got bamboo that is doing a thing there's bamboo here as well and I found some great bamboo it's 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 um, like almost a foot wide when it grows, so that's super cool. We got a palm tree here, and what's this? Pineapple. pineapple. We got pineapple. So that's cool stuff. I got some new pots. So the reason why we're here on the land is now to get some new pots. I bought them yesterday. We, I bought uh, ground today, Jera, Jera. So we got two big bags in the back of the car. 
and I got a plant called papyrus, papyrus, I don't think, I'm not sure if you call that in English, but anyway, we got some of those, and they're, I cut them off and put them in water, and they get roots, and they got leaves, and now we can, we can start to plant them in the pots, and they can grow, and a little update of the house, now we're here, Ooh. so I don't know if you remember the last video, but I took everything out in the roof, up there, and all these, these things, and over there, it's all empty, and uh, it sounds hollow like that. And here, you know, to take, I took one cupboard out. There is no window, nothing in here. And there's no mattress. I have no idea where to, to leave that. So I have to figure out where you leave old mattresses here in Costa Rica. So uh, yeah, we've we done a lot and uh, we got a lot of wood we had, you know, there was no paint on it, but just raw wood. And uh, what did we do with that? And it was uh, just wood, no plastics, no whatsoever. Burned it, I burned it, made a big fire yesterday. So that was good fun. And uh, ah, that's it guys. So this is our adventure. This is, it's so raw country still. I mean, look, I don't know if you can see the grass is super high, the apple tree is stunning beautiful. We still have thousands of mangoes here, but uh, the farmer who, who bought them from us comes every now and then and and this is a tree and stuff like that. Anyway, if you want to stay updated over our adventures here in Costa Rica, make sure to, to subscribe to our channel and, and uh, give me a thumbs up, you know, to support our channel. And uh, hey, if you have any comments about Costa Rica, if you have any questions, if there's something for you, then, then leave a comment here below under the video. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ciao. She told me all we had was trading cards and common sense Nothing that's worth keeping to yourself Shadow lanes and rows of elves Souvenirs upon the shelf Name the days and seasons as they fell Quiet